This is actually like, I'm not sure how it is like with the camera angle on my face in this mic stand, but conversationally, it's perfect. I have a direct window to you and a direct window to yeah, you. And I can look at both of you. Yeah. Right. Which I guess essentially is the most important part, right? I don't like eye contact. <laughs> you're, not, you're not a fan? No, I'm just weird. Hey, certain eye contact is sexy as fuck. Oh, yeah. Do you it's want it to be thing. sexy? Dude, we can make it a sexy okay, podcast. Well, I can't That's do it. Yeah, you know, actually, I was telling him today that I have a hard time uh -huh. taking serious pictures. No, I'm like super keen on him. I'm like, I'm staring at everyone's <laughs> fucking say eyes. What I said to you on how <laughs> I take serious <laughs> Well, what I said was right. We were <laughs> taking a picture, and Ilya looks serious as fuck for a second, and it's like a hot person thing to do. You know what I mean? Like, it's like a. No, a smolder? It, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smolder. You know, it's like, it's, it's, the, blue it's, the, blue it's the blue steel. It's the blue steel. It's the blue steel. But it's different than the blue steel. It's not exactly the blue steel, but it's just something. What is the, there's like instructions for the blue steel, isn't there? Yeah, it's, it, it, he contorts, it's the way he it's contorts like, his face. It's like, you like raise your eyebrow. It's like smile, but stop smiling. And then raise your eyebrows or something. Dude, it's when like, I make a, when I'm like serious, and, well, like the hot guy, I was just being a dumbass. <laughs> I just wanted a photo to send Isabella, but. No, I, I, I get that. I get that. That was funny. But it had me thinking thoughts. It had, it, 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 I just was saying, I was getting to the point of like, I can't take, like I was telling you, like sexy or serious photos even. So Dude, it's like one, it's, it's both of them. It's, 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 liter it's literally both. So both of those categories, not saying that they're the same category. Sexy is its own category and For serious sure. is its own. I'm incapable of both because I just want to either A, innocently smile, like, or, you know, do something fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, you could do a silly photo for yeah, sure. For you sure. could definitely Silly's, kill a silly yeah, one. I just had literally an hour ago, I had to submit a picture that's getting sent to my entire company, thousands of people. And it's like welcoming me to the company. And it's just like a picture of me and like a blurb. And I'm looking through all my photos and I, I was running out of time. I was like, fuck it. I just took a selfie in my chair and posted it as a thing. <laughs> so like everyone has like pictures with their dog and their family. And mine's just going to be like, yeah, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> like, Air, AirPods in like right away. Like, My name's <laughs> Alex. I'm 24. I'm San Diego's leading bachelor. <laughs> I love to fucking party, man. No, it was. I just had to write this whole stupid shit. But I agree, it was really hard to do. I was yeah. like, do I smile? Do I not smile? I yeah. think once you get into it, though, you're just being hypercritical. I realize the best smile for both like serious and hot guy is just the smirk, where you mm -hmm. raise one side mm -hmm. of your face just a little bit in like a smile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you just gotta give him the fuck me out. All right, let's let's all give it a try. I can't even stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. Okay. I tried, I tried to do it at first, but... I think, I think yeah. we got it. Yeah. But goddamn. I don't know what it is about that, but I just want to take, like, serious... Like, I, it's a concept to me because it's like you need certain things, right, for something to gain traction, right? It could be either absurdly silly. You could do that. You could do the serious route, like... Going, gain... Do certain things to gain traction. Yeah, just viral. Uh, on, oh, so, like, oh you know, online. Photos are popular. Oh, oh how to take a good photo for like online. Yeah, because you okay. think about it when you think of photos. Photos are everywhere. It's like one of the most shared things right now. It's something people really. It's something. It like well, it's something people yeah, really sure. care about. This is what I was right thinking. Then. You were like, oh, we were just taking pictures to send to these people. Like people. They care. used to not happen. And there used to be thing. no pictures. There used to be no pictures at all. The <laughs> fact that I even have so to funny. worry about how I'm posing for a photo half the time. Yeah, what a new concept. It's a mental fuck for me, man. They had a photo taking them. That was like their life changing event. They put people might have a hard time hearing you right now oh do i gotta be close just a little bit okay no i mean yeah all? it's well it's know. fine or you turn down no it's fine okay. i don't um, even know if we started this show yet <laughs> oh yeah oh, welcome yeah. to oh, yeah. career podcasters <laughs> our show Ilya's back Woo! Ilya's back, back again Woo! Round two to San Diego. Bender, yeah. weekend. Bender, Bender weekend in San Diego. Bender weekend round two what were you saying I don't remember. What we, uh, we were talking about the photographs. Now I'm remember this that we photograph. Have to oh, what, what's that song? Is that? I don't know. Nickelback. Uh, Nickelback. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Fuck. Remember look this photograph. <laughs> look at this photograph. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of bummed about it. No, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I do agree. It is a crazy concept that we have photos now. But I, I think yeah, to take a good picture, it depends on the scenario, right? Yeah. Well, for me, when I'm old, I just want to have, like, a little box of fucking, like, photographs, whether it's, like, on a USB or just, like, actual film camera stuff. And I want to know when I'm 50 that when I was fucking 23, I was just walking sex appeal. 
and a fucking mm-hmm. god. So like, you have to like you just show your make, grandkids like yeah, I was a fucking you baller. Don't, dude, bro. I don't want to fucking go to my kids and be like, yeah, look at how beat I was in 2020. <laughs> there was a pandemic. I fucking gained 30 pounds and I was just like fucking bum. And I don't want to show them that. I want yeah. them to be like, yeah, I was fucking hot as shit then. Banging all the women. Just I kidding. always look like this. Don't worry about it. <laughs> It's like <laughs> this is before I met your grandma. Yeah, before me and your mom got along. <laughs> this is what I perused like. Yeah, it is crazy. I feel like when I see pictures of my parents, I kind of think I'm like, oh yeah, they had like whole ass lives. Yeah, it's <laughs> the memories, cool. bro. My like, dad was a fucking stud. There's so many like crazy photos, and that's always like, mm-hmm. I'm like, dude, I'm never gonna be as cool as my parents <laughs> were because it was just another time then. Dude, it was something about the pictures like glorify it too. I think. They always, especially back then, every picture looked like it was like perfect almost. I now mean, it's because we have so many. Because there was that's only what I'm a saying. You only the, one shot. The influx, the the fact that I even think about like how am I going to pose for this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I think that's what I was getting at. Like just like the the traction that photos have gained. I think is what I was trying to say. I miss mm-hmm, it. Like mm-hmm. the fact that like a beloved invention. Everyone it's, loves everyone photos. loves photos, man, and we take them all the time for various reasons, whether to be send somebody something you're doing for keepsake, just whatever. It's just wild to me, man. I never even thought about it like that once. Yeah, I think about weird shit sometimes, Dude, just listen, about I how like too, the way it is, I've and that's why we have a show. <laughs> that's the only reason we can have a show. <laughs> <laughs> to talk about all the bullshit that all I don't think of any of that stuff dude <laughs> and then that's like what are we talking about I'm like dude I have had no thoughts today I've literally just sat in my chair just no thoughts stared just, at a screen just fried dude, all day just sometimes fried. it feels like that you only know Autodesk like how to I, solve one's Autodesk problems dude, and that's it I just sit there and I'm just like in and then afterwards I'm like oh fuck I gotta do XYZ the screen drug is like a real ass thing too the my burnout hurt, from that my eyes hurt every day <laughs> now I need to do something oh, about it. I, I, actually, in one of my classes, we talked about the mo- way modern life has changed us. Mm-hmm. And it is, ba- it's this crazy thing, but basically the fact that you're only using your like nearsighted vision, looking at screens, mm-hmm. and that's also terrible for you, yeah. it deteriorates your vision at like an exponential <laughs> rate. And like people who were like <laughs> using screens in the 90s, there were a bunch of tests of them like from then to like 2005 where it became like much more ubiquitous. Yeah. And all of them needed glasses, like vision was fucked. I'm gonna need it. I'm pretty oh, much yeah. guaranteed. I'm surprised I don't need them yet. James tells me every day, he's like, dude, you're gonna fucking go blind. Because <laughs> he gets mad because I don't have to wear glasses. Yeah. And I, th- yeah, I think I'm due. I do think I'm trying to feel vision? I do. Oh, that's oh, fire. That's, lu- that's yeah. lucky shit. Legally <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> it says on my driver's license yeah. I can't drive without glasses no, I, or contacts. No, exactly. That's me why I'm too. like, I can't really complain. But I also know, like, I'm going to be fucked eventually. But we all are. You just need to use, True. Um, like, blue light things. And then there are like, certain those. exercises you can do throughout the day, like focusing your vision elsewhere. Yeah, you need to, like, look outside. far and then yeah, look exactly. short. Yeah, And that's supposed to help, like, the effects. I do it sometimes. The blue light, I have a pair. They bother my eyes, though, when I wear them. I also heard it's, like, there's no, like, proof to it yet that that's, like, what's fucking us. Uh, it's good for it's sleep, something. though. Yeah, but, like, have you but ever... it okay, works for a lot you, of people. Like, also, Joe you know, and Vinny feel a difference, so maybe it's just me. Well, you know when you're, like, playing, like, hours of video games or hours on the TV, you ever get into, like, the zone, right, oh, where yeah. you forget to blink for a significant period of time oh, while yeah. you're looking at that screen? That's what happens And to then me. that first blink happens in this throbbing pain just shoots throughout your eyes you feel like they're gonna pop well, out of the fucking you socket contact so you know do have you ever been like staring in your eye got so fucking dry oh. that when you blink the contact just flies out of your eye oh, dude yeah what? so okay so <laughs> the real, human the real thing dude i feel like you could have a sports competition like that where people are just <laughs> waiting <laughs> hours <laughs> and like ready to go and they just sit there and hold their eyes contact. open for as long as they can and then the guy who shoots at the farthest wind it's, it's like a guinness world record thing it's like in the Olympics yeah. Yeah. contact Why shooting. Sh- it's literally a pissing contest just with your fucking dry ass <laughs> like eyes. Like the Russian slapping well, contest. Dude. <laughs> those are crazy. I love those. We I had a phase. That, we watched, we watched that a lot for of like them. two oh weeks or something. God. They're entertaining, man. Those guys get really into it. Dude, and they'll slap the shit out of each other. <laughs> <laughs> they get punched. They get drunk. Uh, what's that maybe called? That's punch how drunk. We, we go viral. We just slap the shit out of each other. Homemade. <laughs> WrestleMania. We could do. <laughs> oh man, that would be fucking hilarious. But yeah, the human yeah, eye is that, interesting though. because like it moves what? Tell how, us, how, Matt. Many, how many times per second? Mm-hmm. Well, no, no, no. Well, here, 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 here's the thing about contacts. Cause, yeah, I've had that happen. But like, there's the shooting element the, of the, like, it, which does twitch. happen. It can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The muscles. 
but the human eye moves like 80 times a second or something like in between each it. blink like it's I just constantly it. like moving around yeah so the contact is probably like i don't know how exactly contacts work but i know they stick to the eye somehow yeah, no so your your con i, I know this that your contacts are basi- basically formed to fit around your cornea uh-huh. and mm-hmm. the lens on your eyes it's Basically, it's like of convex, so it sticks out like this, and your contact's supposed to grip it, so that's why your contact will almost always stay centered. Because your uh, eye isn't a perfect circle; uh, it's, it ha- it's more like egg-shaped, so it has like a certain shape before it goes back, and that's where it gets more round, where it's like around your optic nerve and everything. So your contact is actually like sticking to where like your iris and everything is. Oh, that's fascinating. And that's why, like, you can get cornea transplants and things like oh. that. Because uh, it's like a little bump on I your I considered eye. it, but you have to get, like, transplants every 10 years once you get one. So I was just like... Is that, like, LASIK type no, so stuff? That's I was going to get LASIK, but my corneas are too thin. I think I uh, fucking blame Roto's eye drops for just deteriorating burning the them away. out of my eyes in high school. <laughs> All of the dab mornings going to first period, blasted off Roto's, like, just covering my <laughs> tracks. I think I'd have fucked up my cornea, so now I can't get LASIK. So the only Literally way so I can fuck. get fucking LASIK is to get cornea <laughs> You gotta get new shirt. corneas as well. I was well. just like, oh, fuck that. All our glasses and contacts forever. Yeah. Oh, my God. I have no concept of it, but does, is it really... How much of a hassle is it? Or are you just used to it? isn't that bad. It's only like in certain the situations whole, the whole thing, you though. have to... Just like remembering your context and taking it just becomes part of life. Like, yeah, it's like is it? It's like, your vision. Compared like, to brushing your teeth, I, how much more like yeah, work is it? Yeah, same thing. Okay, Alex, I if I didn't have my contacts, <laughs> you would just be some dude with a mustache and this would be a so fucking funny. white yeah. Jewish man. I can't even imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I could probably see. A dude. white Jewish <laughs> When do we get a Jewish friend? This yeah. is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but that's like the crazy thing. It becomes it becomes second nature. Uh-huh. It's easy as fuck. It literally is like forget like you know how I'm easy at like losing things, sure. forgetting my wallet. Oh I can my. only think of like like losing wallets, losing phones. Like dude, I lose everything. Left his wallet at Cecil's earlier, dude. <laughs> Sunglasses Classic. gone most of the uh-huh. time. Sunglasses are usually have a year lifespan with me. Max, I lose them after a year so every yep. time. I've never lost a pair of glasses and mm. I always bring I I really don't think I have. I swear to god I have a pair of yours. <laughs> a pair of my prescription glasses? Yeah, I think so. Oh wow! They're in like a weird, like almost girly phone case or case. You oh, dude, to... that if, if I left them and uh-huh. didn't retrieve them, it was a backup pair, which means I, it was an old pair. I agree, but you still you lost mean, some of your. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> it's the thing that I like seldom forget because it's know. literally like forgetting. I just my want vision. to be accurate for the fans. <laughs> they need something. to know what happened. No, what when you drove honest. to keep LA keep and you didn't bring your glasses? You forgot your glasses. Fucking yeah. blind the whole time driving. No, 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 no. I wasn't. I had my contacts okay. in. I was staying. That's I was supposed part. to stay the night in LA. Oh. It's like two hour drive. Yeah. And I was supposed to, dude, I literally, this is the silliest story. it's so silly. So I got there and I was supposed to stay the night out there and I realized I'd forgotten my glasses yeah. and I either had two options, go to a store and buy a fucking holder yeah. and some saline and be blind the rest of the night. Yeah. And then put the contacts back in the next day. Yeah. Or just wear them the whole time. Or wear them the whole night, sleep in them. I hate that because that was another oh, thing sucks. I was getting it on. Yeah. There are cons to this shit. <laughs> um, That's what I'm trying to get at. Yeah, 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 I, definitely. I can tell you the shame, Alex, after Matt's story. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, well, I, the whole thing that got me uh, back to the eyes was me explaining, like, and asking that question. I don't know how the contact keeps up with the eye. Because, like, there will be times where I'm just staring, right? Story. Or, like, focused. You gotta finish the story. Oh, that's right. Sorry. So <laughs> it's stuck to your eye, man. That's a short answer. I know. Answer. So I could either sleep or I could go back and retrieve my glasses. Okay. Or yes. I could go back and get my glasses. So I'm sitting there, I'm mulling it over for like 30 minutes. And I come to the conclusion where I'm like, I need my fucking glasses. So I look at the guy that I'm with, I'm like, yo, man, we gotta fucking we gotta either go back to San Diego or maybe just stay back there and then fucking drive back up, do a round trip. I've already driven the two hours to LA. Yeah. And I'm like, it'll What'd be you two do, hours like a dinner back. or something. You were there for yeah, a little we, bit. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. got yeah, we got dinner first. So I literally drove six hours in one night. We came back and then we went back to LA and continued the LA trip in the same night. <laughs> I made what could have been excuse me, a two hour trip, a six hour trip Matt, because I forgot my fucking glasses. Yeah. I forgot the most essential thing in my life. Just back at home. I just left them there and completely Dude, forgot I that I would even need them. I fucking glasses on camping trips one time. 
Ooh. I had the same pair of contacts in my fucking <laughs> eyes for five days straight. I just imagine you my in the shit. desert, do you like remember, looking do you up you at the sky, just like SpongeBob and Patrick getting no, fried on the table in the SpongeBob movie. That's exactly it. Remember the episode of SpongeBob where that fool gets all the salt in his eyes and they're just like, red. That was literally my eyes for those five, just red. It and it was the most painful thing ever, but I had to be able to see. It's rough. I'm basically blind without contacts yeah. and fucking glasses. See, like that that would scare me. Scenarios where like maybe if just if like even if you didn't if you even have kept them in, what if you just lost them while you were there? Oh, it happened. And it's like I can't drive home now. I've had I've had contacts fall out and I don't realize it because my dumb ass That's is just like in the moment. It's, and it's, it's actually scary. That's super I remember worrying. driving home from Vincent's house in high school without my fucking glasses, <laughs> and I, dude, I literally drove home at maybe 15 miles an hour because I like had one scare on Bay Farm of this mom like oh jumping God. out in front of me on yeah. the street, and I was like, yeah, I should have plowed that bitch. So there's no <laughs> way I need, to, I need to fucking go slower, dude. I need that sound bite. <laughs> That's a good sound bite. Yeah, it's it's Dude. it's actually really scary. That's the whole reason I made the drive back is considering that I was supposed to be in LA for at least another day and a half and if anything happened to that one pair of contacts that I had if I chose to stay with it, I couldn't drive back. Yeah. I literally yeah. I would not be able to get back it's without super, it. It's honestly pretty like not being able to see is terrifying. Yeah. Yeah, like it's I just rough. even if my eyes bother me for like a little bit, I get scared. So I can't imagine just like being reminded by it so much but, that, yeah, no, but that's what like why it's so easy to remember too and mm. like you're you're i'm very conscientious of like for this trip for example um i always change solutions when i'm traveling because there's this one where you can just use it overnight and quickly and it washes them uh -huh. this is the one i use at home it's like a six hour process oh and, gotcha um, you're always super conscientious of it and like i always plan for it. like okay i definitely i would think of my contacts before my fucking toothpaste <laughs> I, I agree with that. They I agree with that. Toothpaste. Yeah, if you fuck up. You can get toothpaste. At it's hard to get pharmacy. your prescription contacts. Like, now, Target has kind of revolutionized the game. Here's where here, here's an argument for big let business. Let me tell you. Let me tell. Let me tell you. It's cool. Target Capitalism. Optics. If you're if you're fucking with them, uh -huh. like if I was in a pinch, let's say you're somewhere for like a week, week and a half, sure. and my glasses break and I left all my backup contacts at home, I could go to any Target and be covered under the plan that I have there and get a new pair mm. for relatively wait, cheap wait, wait. You, and fast. Do you have to pay for like Target insurance or some shit? Like to no, no, no. Them? I'm just saying. I think I, I, they have my prescription on file, okay. so they can make the glasses quick. I'd probably so you, get it. I'd probably have to wait like a day or two, maybe. But you pay for, for a that, new right? pair of glasses. To have Target Eye Care. Oh, uh, yeah. What the they're fuck? not gonna do it for free. Yeah, I think. Yeah, but I, I think it's like under. You can make it under your health insurance. It's oh, like any. Good? It's like any uh, eye that doctor. Makes sense. Oh, okay. Yeah, Sick. it's, it's a, they have a whole eye now, doctor set up in fucking Target. In all Target. Yeah, you I walk out and you can fucking go get Oreos and ice cream from the grocery aisle and an Xbox now game. Now you can finally see it. Yeah, yeah. Before yeah. you didn't know what you were looking at. Now <laughs> yeah. you can you actually pick Target eye yeah. care, get your fucking glasses, and you can see their store. Yeah. Imagine you just every time you just pick a random game. You're like, I hope this is the one I want. This is go the home. one. Are we? Are we? Yeah. Oh wait, what? No, what? I was just gonna say, are we all fucking our vision? Like well, now yeah, that that thought, thought just came in my head. So yeah. is that what we're all leading to? Are we just ruining yeah. our eyes the, more and the more weird every thing day? Is though, it's like such a random thing. Cause it's like I'm saying, there's tons of people who look at screens and do that shit all the time, and their eyes are fine. I mean, there's also I, a lot of people I feel get like fucked. It's just individual people. You know what I yeah. mean? I don't know. I for sure know that my ass is gonna be blind. I'm gonna need to fucking like get new eyes in general. But hopefully we'll have that. Yeah, I dude, I need I that. I think we will. I'm fucking blind. It's we can make sucks. camera lenses. Couldn't we make like synthetic artificial the humanoid eyes? eyes? Oh, no, I, I, that's not. No, we can't. <laughs> that's a whole dude. Yeah, that we don't know how to, to do that. To your fucking optic <laughs> nerve, that is much different yeah. than a fucking 35 <laughs> millimeter camera lens. There's that's a reason just a we piece don't have of fucking glass that's curved, dude. <laughs> mm. <laughs> your eyeball. Yeah, it has to attach to your fucking optic nerve. Do you want to fucking put a lens in your eye, dude? You're not. It's impossible. Being that's, a cyborg would be awesome. But we, that's what I'm saying. We barely even have, like, good prosthetics. Dude, yeah. Like, true. limbs. Imagine your eye. Yeah, it's I over. It. it is a fear. I feel like that's one of the worst things, like, an impalement of the eye. Oh, I've, that's had, like, I've had eye injuries, and they're terrible. Yeah. Scary. Like, it's really scary. Yeah. Like, My, you def like, any eye injury, you need to go to, an, like, an optometrist ASAP. Yeah. Because it's just, like, the most uncomfortable thing to have, especially, like, when you can't see. Yeah. Because I have, like, a fat stigmatism, so my right eye is my good eye. It's my white people eye. Mm -hmm. Left eye, <laughs> yellow as fuck. But my right eye, dude, if that's how it that works, goes actually. blind, 
Fuck. I might as well jump off a bridge because there's no fucking way I could live off my left eye's vision. I might as well True. just have my shit stabbed out. Both my eyes Damn. are equally shitty. Yeah. I have the uh, exact same prescription in both eyes, but they both dude, suck. I got fucking Chinaman lens in the left and the fucking white people lens in the right. My left. You just go to different stores. <laughs> I damn near have to, bro. I got go two to different two doctors. Different doctors yeah. get each lens, man. Dude, that sounds insane. Uh, there's also people who do live with one eye though and that's just how they like function like once we have glass eyes and Does stuff does it throw off your like entire perception no because I, I like for example my stigmatism my left my right eye naturally did more of the work and my brain processed more of the information being fed by my right side than my left side so that's why my left eye didn't develop and i was forced mm. to make it develop so like first grade i had to wear an eye patch for like six hours a day Whoa. i had to yeah i had to like block the vision of my good eye to like get my left eye to do more Catch of the work up. and when you're young your vision is like actually very it's able to like heal and become better more so than later in your life. Mm -hmm. So that's why a lot of eye doctors will try to correct it early on. Right away. But yeah, I, dude, I was like, <laughs> when I was born, I think I, was, I had like 20, 1100 vision in my left eye. Whoa. No, I was legally blind. Yeah. Like, and now I think my left eye is like 20, 400 something oh so the, wow they really improved no it. it's still useless but like yeah, if you yeah. know the like basically <laughs> i don't know the numbers like 20 100 and on you're fucking useless Jesus. so my right eye is like 20 25 or 20 30 oh, okay. now after everything um with, with contacts i mean without oh. it useless so you no, know it's dude. rough dude that's just like it's i think people who don't how no. I just don't even like if I have, have no concept of vision, it I'm so jealous of you it's insane yeah. like, I, I, did, actually, I, never, like, I don't think of it of such like a blessing but yeah totally like, that sounds blessing. awful dude when did you get your glasses I had my first pair of glasses in first grade yeah I was I second like a little, I looked like a fucking bow baby <laughs> with these fucking <laughs> glasses on dude I looked like uh, like uh, early uh, like I looked like the accountant in the mob movie from a young age. I had the like the square glasses. Oh, you know, God. I'd comb my hair back too. Uh -huh. Back in the day, I feel like I was just destined for like the old man look for like- The weed. For, dude, seriously. Like I see the photos of myself as a kid and I was like, I was like an old man child. <laughs> <laughs> no, you weren't. I don't think so. I don't so. remember that either. No, I don't think so. No, no not at all. Maybe more funny. so than the average kid. <laughs> you still look like a kid. I don't know. Yeah, I, mean, I, I was small No one pointed sure. it out. No, 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 it's just funny to me, the looking yeah. back on the glass. But yeah, it was it was young when I had them, so it just kind of developed. Been but yeah, forever. Yeah. You know, like, you get really accustomed to it. Damn. It yeah. sucks. And it's it wild, suck. but if we're all fucking our vision, we all might be there soon. But it, it, do you see, screens... It'll be more scary for him. Screens can't, oh, yeah. be, worse than, but screens can't be worse than the sun, right? Like, people have been out in the sun forever. Okay, yeah, but you you're don't not stare at the sun, at the sun dude. Not to mention the fucking screen is like a... <laughs> it's not like you're staring at a screen from yeah. a distance. Yeah. You're staring at it like this fucking Yeah, close. it's they really close. They don't really not to stare at the sun for a reason. Dude, are you enjoying this no video? Doesn't. Is it worth us fucking up your eyes for the rest of your life? I hope so. Yeah. I feel like there's going to be a safer way to do it. Or we're just going to be able to get new eyes eventually. I don't Not know. Not in our lifetime. Hell no. That one seems really hard. That seems like one of the hardest. Yeah, you kind of hit home. You said the limbs that we have aren't even that great, let alone fucking yeah. an eyeball. Like, a lot of people can't get this good prosthetics. This isn't fucking Naruto. You can't just rip out someone's yeah. eye and put it in yours. They never explain that, to be honest. Yeah. They're just like, oh, I just, like, mid-battle, they'll just rip out an eye and, and put in put a new eye, and it just and works right away. Dude, I think they just have, like... It's just like chakra infusing their eyes, mm, so then it just when like it goes links. back, it just flows up to the That's body so shock. Dude, I don't know. That show's fucking. Yeah, it's not supposed to make sense. It's sick though. It's super. I, sick. Dude, honestly, if that was real, in a fucking heartbeat, I'd be on the first plane back to SFO. I'd stab the shit out of Polka, and I would fucking take his <laughs> eyes. Take his eyes. If Get I the shine guy. I had the from that side, dude. But you're fucking yeah. done. It's curtains for you. It's like, oh, I got a cop. They'll right never now. find the tree I buried you under, dog. <laughs> Stealing your brother's eye, man, that would be that would be pretty yeah. fucked up. But if I had the mangeki, that's like a whole that's an anime, that's an anime storyline right there. You it know, is. like that's, that's literally yeah. a whole, that's a whole, whole thing. Line. That is the storyline. That of Naruto. shit is the fucking. Ah, that's the yeah, thing. I haven't, yeah. I haven't, I haven't gotten to Naruto oh, you yet. Fucking up. It's so uh -oh. hype. It's super hype. But yeah, if, if the Dragon Ball Z was... back in the day, but not. Uh, uh, dude, not Dragon Naruto. Ball doesn't have shit on Naruto. I used to be a DBZ kid, and like the first Dragon Ball and Z is sick, and then uh -huh. like. 
Super is pretty sick, but honestly, I don't give a f- Goku just Goku is literally Takumi, bro. The Goku effect, dude. No, it, it's the Takumi effect, dude. Goku didn't run through all of Gunma without fucking it's no true. issues, bro. It's true. Goku Initial D also didn't fans. drop the ball with any of the females like every other male in that show, dude. Takumi was a god well, in dude, all aspects Takumi of life. Was in, in Japan, he was just the fucking biggest dick out there. Him and Ryosuke were just fucking. <sighs> Full confidence, didn't give a fuck, and we're just killing it. The world is like Itsuki. Only a few people are like Takumi. <laughs> Fucking yeah, I hate Itsuki. Dude, no, Itsuki is raw, bro. He blows it, but he's raw. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Uh, For the fans, just watch some initial D. Yeah. See the god tack. Dude. <laughs> But you were talking about Goku. You were uh, you were explaining he just Goku's gets like talk. good and good and good, and then when you can't get any better, he's like, oh yeah, he's God now, and then he just goes from there too. That like people get broken in Naruto, but there's like yeah. a fucking progression of like they're getting fucked, and they mm-hmm. have to. Everyone get gets bad. fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No one's just OP like the whole time. No. It's Pretty kind much. of a fun character sometimes, the OP guy the whole time, though. Yeah, but then it's like there's no limits. There's no bounds. Yeah, it's like, less human. Yeah. It's the expectation, like, oh, he, like there's no anticipation in the show, you know? Because he's like, hey, why oh, are you he's watching? fucking a god up front, is always a god, never gets fucked. Well, then it's like, how many seasons can you go on with mm-hmm. that? It only lasts so long. In, in the beginning, like, you're like, oh, maybe he will lose. Maybe. And then after a while, you're like, he's not going to lose. Not gonna that happen. was the Takumi effect, dude. Yeah. You watch the first season, and you're like... Dude, the whole time we were waiting for him to lose, and he just and wins. He just, and it's great for He's literally season. just fucking janitor talk. He's just sweeping mm-hmm. away, bro. And really then, not even did, how, did, how far did you guys get in the second season? Barely. We're we like we're it. literally at the point where his dad is telling him he has to lose in oh, order to get his okay. upgrade. Okay, yeah. He's like, he has to get beaten yeah, in order for me to fucking for get the car just, going. Just... just Keep going. Mm. Dude, Bunta is the fucking Bunta. king, bro. <laughs> Bunta is the fucking god of that show, dude. This fool never opens his eyes once. <laughs> the entire show. He's drifting. He's smoking cigarettes. Dude, like, dude chain smoking plus. cigs oh, dude, the whole Bunta's show. Bunta's the fucking master, dude. Just wait till there's a scene later on down in the road where Bunta just fucks on Takumi. Yeah. He's the master. Have you been doing any uh initial have you been doing any driving in real life lately? Like any I uh, did, have you been whipping it? In my piece of shit, my five cent car. Yeah. I like just got it to be able to What car to, are you like, working on right now? That the car that your dad told me I need to throw like, <laughs> in the trash essentially. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it drifts now, and it's been God in the rain. It's been a, it's been a little fun. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I've been trying to get out there more, but there are these fucks in Alameda who've been really blowing it and making the scene super hot, mm. and they all drive similar cars to me. So like, mm. I'm sure like to a cop, a car that looks the same is the same most of the time. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. So yeah. yeah, I've been I've just been keeping it cool though, super low key. But yeah, I've been That's trying fair. to drive most nights if I can. Where's like your dream spot to drive? In like that the you have it. No, 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 no. Anywhere. It can be anywhere. Mount Fuji, definitely. Yeah. Um, I would say. The Abisu Toge, like all the courses there, actually in that um, Valentine's Day earthquake got destroyed, and oh. I'm super bummed about that because that's gonna fucking probably not get rebuilt for a while. There's like a GoFundMe, but it's not like that stupid <clears throat> ass cathedral in France that got <laughs> billions of dollars. That I remember like that. Save Notre Wolves. Dame. Yeah, fuck that place. <laughs> How did that, that happen? Dude? How? Who did that? Dude, fuck. Was that. it arson? No, I'm just saying, who paid for it to like, oh, go fund me? Yeah, I know. Everybody. A lot dude, of people. There was like billions of dollars. Dude. Yeah. That could have fucking paid all the college loans of everybody. Oh, it could have literally solved just, so oh, many it actual needed problems. to fucking heal this little church, dude. Because the past fuck. is important. No. <laughs> I don't even... No. I, I have like no concept of why anyone paid for that. If there are people trying to get rid of like every street in America that was based off a president that had slaves, there is no reason for that stupid ass fucking building to be yeah. fixed. Yeah, yeah, quite... I'll yeah. fucking burn that place to the ground if I have to. <laughs> Run it back. Run it back. If it burns down, you know who it was. Yep. It was all back. of us. All I need is a little <laughs> linseed oil, some rags, and oh, a lighter. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's how my house would burned do, down. Would, would, if you if you had like an opportunity to go with like a professional driver to Mount Fuji and sit passenger seat with this breath whipping full on initial yes. D style, yeah, me too. I was just talking about I that. Too. I want to do it so badly. I've been in a lot of like 
people who like drift and are actually pretty good drifters and it's very exhilarating like that's all i want to do in my life is be able to build and drive super sick cars and just potentially die at every moment because oh i just want to throw my shit into the corner well it's weird it's like the surfing philosophy i've talked to i've, I've talked to surfers that are just like uh, my cousin being one of them yeah he was literally talking what's up kyle uh, he was literally talking about um not you uh i think his exact words were something like not to get philosophical he's like man how do you get like over the fear of the ocean and he's like not to get philosophical or anything, man, but once you're out there and you like are enjoying the waves, if it takes you, you just have to accept the fact that motherfucker no. can Let eat you. Let me tell you something, bro. <laughs> I've been surfing mm -hmm. a handful of times. I am not a fucking fish, dude. <laughs> like when you're out there, dog, unless you're just like, yeah, shred the waves, like all that fucking dumb shit. Sick. I've been out there. I've seen fins. I've been held under the water. I've hit my head on rocks underwater. Oh my I've gotten God. in the face by the board. That shit blows, dude. <laughs> the ocean. Yeah, is but they have the, but they have gnarly. the same mentality as the driving. Like where if you're like you're going fast and I fucking go off the side of this mountain. Something. I'd rather fly off fucking Grizzly Peak than be a hundred feet out there at fucking Ocean Beach. Man, that's a tough decision actually. Both would be pretty terrifying. Cause like there's like certain, yeah, like dude no. you can drive and it be perfectly safe and still fun. Like yeah, there's a certain thing about going balls out, but I think everybody knows like when the right time is to do that. It's like surfing for example. If you're not feeling comfortable, you're not gonna go out when there's ten foot waves. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you might just want to take a chill day on some three footers. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. the same with like driving. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the reason why you don't see. It's not like everyone who does these things are just dying all the time. Like it's some of them do. Yeah. It happens, but it it's does not. Happen every now it's and not again. like yeah. so common. It's not yeah. really that dangerous if you know what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, dude. If people can surf Mavericks and bail yeah, and be man. held under for like three minutes, Ugh. and live, they're fine. It was, I, I so got crazy. Really into surfing videos for like three weeks there, and there was a one of the professionals who was riding the Mavericks and literally like called his girlfriend or wife after and the first he's like yep didn't die today all right cool i'll see you when i get home Sick. just like yeah. totally casually but like yeah well, no, they I mean, they know the possibility exists every single fucking time they go the out there fucking bro waves are massive so scary like yeah. you see them on there they're a fucking like little yeah. iota of a being did you see thing. the uh did you see the red bull uh run in portugal this lot it was either 2020 or 2021 but there were uh massive waves like 23 footers or something like that like fucking Sheesh. no like, that's that's fuck dude next in, in level the water a four foot wave is massive no dude. i know that's a, i i i'm not I, i'm telling you man it was an obscene number for how big these waves were with this uh it's fuck it was documenting this one surfer it's off the coast of portugal it doesn't even look like it was safe in surfable waters like it doesn't it didn't go into a beach it went into a cliff oh yeah that's how mavericks <laughs> is yeah like you can literally if you go out to half moon bay you can with binoculars you can see mavericks when they're kicking it off yeah Oof. like you can 100 percent see them with binoculars and it's fuck it's just in, yeah it's into a cliffside dude yeah Oh, so scary. It's like, have you guys seen that, that documentary? I believe it's on Disney. It's about the guy who does the free climbing. Oh, yeah. Oh, Chris free Sharma? solo? Free solo. That's, I think, the epitome of pretty much what we're talking about. And that man dude. actually has, like, a gene or something that means he has, like, no fear. Yeah, He's, like, the, supernatural. Dude, fr free climbing is actually insane. Yeah. The people who do that are fucking mental. Like, to have that, like, be that high up, no nerves have like crazy Ugh. hard moves all the way up and then there are like a bunch of moves where you have to lunge and if you're not perfect grabbing that hold then you, you are go. falling to your death i mean a lot of fr like free climbers have died that's that's, so a, like, that's, that's kind of the difference is yeah, yeah it's like when they i remember watching them, they were talking about all the greats who did it and they're like oh they all died climbing yeah like all no like a lot of rock climbers who take it to that extreme uh -huh. i mean it's just like dude you could be at the top of the fucking cliff 15 feet to go and you could just one thought in your head of you being uncertain and scared mm -hmm. and you slip like dude you're fucking done dude yeah oh, at God. least like honestly if you're that high up you're gonna die way before you hit the ground or you yeah. might bounce off the rock and like get f flown oh, but God. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, fuck. No, you're right. It's just, it's like, yeah, this sucks, what it dude. is, bro. Yeah, but those it's people, what it is. like, they'd rather do that. They wouldn't give that up for their life. It's like people yeah. who, like, get into motorcycle accidents, and the first thing they want to do is just get back on the motorcycle. Like, yeah. what gives you, what, what, what gives you guys, like, the biggest, like, adrenaline, like, your daily adrenaline rush? Because, like, I, I don't push it to that extreme. When I don't I, need to, I feel like I get adrenaline from way smaller things. 
than yeah. fucking, you know, Mavericks or, or free climbing or skydiving. Mm. Like, I don't think I, like... Mm. But then again, are, is that is that extreme rush of adrenaline a cool feel? Like it's it's, it's a good sick. feeling. It's a pretty sick feeling. Like in 2019, yeah. I had very little regard for my safety and health, and I was driving that stupid BMW like a madman in the Oakland Hills. Was it like, the like M3? No, the old 60s one, the little brown tan. What one. model? It's a 1600-2. So if you know the BMW 2002s, it's the predecessor. Oh, okay. But we like souped it up with a 2002 engine. It's super sick. It's. I think yeah, broken yeah, yeah. the fuck right now, and that might be my fault. And what color was it? It was like six different colors, but it was mostly like tan. Okay, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, exactly yeah, which yeah, one I'm talking yeah, yeah. about. But I had little regard for my safety, so I was like crossing double lines, but like flat out on a lot of straights and everything. And that it's so much fun when you're you're fucking two in the morning. I've I've also slept on Redwood Road a few times, and that's awful. It's terrifying. The car doors don't lock. There's no seals, so it's just fucking freezing. And Oof. you feel like you're in every horror movie you don't want to be in. Because <laughs> it's just like pitch black. Why would you, no why were you sleeping there? Because my car broke down. <laughs> oh, Shit. It's happened at least four times I've slept on Redwood, and it's Oh, terrible. my God. It's awful. But, no, it's a lot of, like, even just doing it safe, they're like the adrenaline of it, it's super fun. Mm-hmm. Like, there will be times, like, if I drive for a long time and I'm, like, trying to be either fast or focus on techniques, I'm exhausted after. Like, it's cr- like if you look at a lot of, like, F1 racers or circuit racers, they're fucking dripping sweat. They are fucking fully dialed in because they have to be if they're trying to be the fastest possible, you know? Uh-huh. It's like playing any sport, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, you just get in that, like, flow. You're it's just like locked zone. in. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Gamers, too. Same kind of thing. Yeah, like, in gamers, you go, your heartbeat can go up crazy if, like, the fucking game's on Dude, the line. Or I'd be sweating to... sometimes. That's what I'm saying. I get, I'll like, adrenaline like... from that shit. That's, yeah. what, that's what I was getting at. Like, what, what's my daily kick of adrenaline? Because, like, I feel Warzone. like we all seek it, right? Call of Duty. I don't, I don't, I'm not Honestly, a huge thrill me, seeker. it's, like, nicotine. No? That'll roller coasters? Too. Nicotine. I yeah, like nicotine's roller coasters, great. Like, nicotine is my adrenaline. Roller coasters are fun. I love yeah. roller coasters. I think That's it depends on sick. the person, though. Like, personally, I'm not, like, a big thrill seeker at all. Like, I don't crave that. I like competitive stuff, so I'll play games and sports, but not for the adrenaline part of it. I've never thought about, like, I enjoy that personally. Like, would you ever jump out of a plane, no, Like, example? I would. All these things I would do, because I'm not, like, afraid of them necessarily, but it doesn't sound pleasurable. It's not, like, on my list. I would never pay for it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I want to jump out of a plane. That yeah. shit. I it see, seems cool. I but see like... Point Break and Patrick Swayze just flying. Because <laughs> that was actually a real shot. Whoa, the fucking really? Keanu he Reeves, out. obviously on a blue screen. But Patrick yeah. Swayze, like, at that time, had been skydiving a lot. And he wanted Whoa. to, like, he, per, like, talked to the producer. And he was like, I want to shoot this for real. Like, I'm fully capable. And they are like... Nah, fuck no. Like, yeah. insurance would never go for it. So on one weekend, he and, like, a bunch of his buddies just brought cameras out, and they did, like, ten dives. And all of the footage of Patrick Swayze is real. That's, that's so When he's cool. just twirling through the air, that's uh. 100% real. And that's the thing that, like, I think Tom Cruise is crazy. When he did uh. that halo jump, he did that halo jump, like, ten times. But Insane. then they threw a bunch of CG clouds and lightning, and it looked fake. But, but like, it actually was In the legit. Top Gun movie, he learned to f- the new one that came out, he learned to fly a jet. What like the actually. fuck? That's so cool. Dude, Tom Cruise is a fucking Tom Cruise. Band. Yeah, but yeah. like, like, like what? he is Why? the definition of an adrenaline junkie. Yes, I mean at least, especially the roles that. I've Man, been imagine trying. living a life where you can be like, you know what? I'm gonna make millions of dollars off of learning how to fly a jet because that's <laughs> yeah. what I want to do on this Tuesday. Boy, one of his movies that's was literally fucking crazy. Harnessed into a fucking plane while it took off. He was on the outside holding the door as it took off, and that was a real stunt. If oh, his heart damn. is broke, that fool was gone. Gone. Yeah. So Tom, insane. Tom Cruise doesn't play, man. Yeah. See, none of that sounds fun to me. I don't know. I can't yeah, Jackie down Chan, that. do your own stunt type thing, man. Well, that's just mad respect being a stunt man I mean, is like, like a legit parkour, job. For example, like uh-huh. some of those fools are jumping off like twenty foot ledges into like rolls or crazy precise jumps over like huge drops. And, like, I don't know. For me, the adrenaline doing that, I'd probably fuck up and die. Yeah, that's the thing. You can get an adrenaline rush and not have to, like, also be on point to, like, navigate something. Like you said, you could just sit in a roller coaster. Yeah. Or you could have to, like, narrowly climb this fucking mountain. I'm like, eh, I'll just sit there. I'll go to the Magic Mountain instead. Yeah. (laughs) Because I feel like a lot of adrenaline is also anxiety. Yes. 
Yes. Like very high anxiety fucking moments. And high it's just dosage like, of natural anxiety. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, it sucks. I think it's probably why I don't like it that much. It's just like not that part's not fun. I feel like there's a certain point where the adrenaline, like you're just like fuck the anxiety. Like I gotta do. It this. does overcome it. Yeah. yeah, I have to do this. Otherwise, it's my neck. Oh, so much. I don't know. Some people are like that though. I jump out of a plane. Let's go do it. I'm down. I would jump out of a plane with y'all as long as I'm nuts to butts with someone who knows what they're doing. Yeah, I don't really then care. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I'd be scared. I'm not gonna lie. I'd be, I'd be would pretty you terrified. Do it though? I could get talked into. I guarantee you, I could get talked I into it. I could for sure get Matt to jump out of a fucking plane. <laughs> yeah. Give me twenty wow. minutes. Isn't and a that like? And he's <laughs> in the car ready to go, dude. I almost feel like that's like a saying. Like I could talk him into jumping out of no, jumping I off a building Matt, or something. I think anyone from this house. Your could friends talk would jump Matt off dude. a bridge. Would you? Yeah. Maybe. Was, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Maybe. <laughs> I was that smart. I was a smart ass type of kid. There were times where like people would ask me that, and I'd say that. I don't know whether the circumstances. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I've jumped off a Jeez. few bridges like for fun. This shit's rough, dude. High drops. See, the thing, is yeah, scary. I'm terrified. I'm, ty- I'm terrified of even rock jumping. How? Like, what's the highest you've jumped? Yeah, what's the one that Shasta, Alex? Shasta? How high, or uh, Pinecrest? Oh. Um, how high is that one? I don't know. It's probably like. How many me's is it? I don't know, maybe like 25 feet. I think it's 25 feet. feet. Okay, that's pretty, yeah. 25, that's fun. I was maybe, maybe 25 the to 30. One. Mostly we do less than that. Yeah. I'm but I would say at least four people's worth. I yeah. would say like <laughs> anything under like 35 is really good fun. And to where yes. like you could try stuff. Like if you put me in like a 12 foot cliff to like 15, I'll gladly flip off it and try to do something. Totally. Because like if you be- like belly flop or back flop, it's not awful. Yeah. But like. Anything over 40 to, like, 70 is rough. It hurts. It's No, it's, it it's like... You could actually really get the hurt. The amount of hang time... Like, I think the tallest I've ever jumped is probably, like, 70 feet. Oh, my and God. And it was fucking terrifying. Jesus Christ. You did... Was, was, that when you, was that when you were going, like, all the time, like, rock jumping? No, no. That was... Dude, it was the stupid... All right, so let me just... I was fucking camping at Lake Berryessa, basically where all the Zodiac killings went down, right on that spot. Nice, the nice. Classic. And I was... I looked at that bridge for the first time and I was like, my dad in his 20s would jump off that shit for sure. And I was, <laughs> it was just like, in I my gotta, brain, I was like, I gotta I do must. it. So, so I dug my own grave the whole night. We were drinking and smoking and I was talking hell shit. I'm like, yeah, you see that fucking thing tomorrow? I'm about to jump off that shit. First go. Like, first go, no problem. We wake up. It's like nine in the morning. I drink a beer and I'm like smoking a <laughs> spliff. And these, some guy is like, so the bridge, like, it's time for that, right? And I was like, oh, fuck, okay. I didn't think about anything. I walked to the middle of the bridge. It is the lowest tide of the year. So it was like another extra 10 to 15 feet bigger than I thought. And me drunk, looking from the bottom, I was like, yeah, that's, that's 35, 40 feet. Easy, easy. Hell nah. So my stupid ass, it was November. So it was winter freezing cold water didn't think about that i jumped in the middle of the bridge so i had at least like 150 feet to swim to shore yeah didn't think about that didn't even think about breaking the surface tension so when i hit it it was fucking hard the other thing i relied on tajay i told tajay i was like i've known you since preschool if i go under throw some shit in the water (laughs) jump save me please and he was like i got you all of these things not considered and my trust in Tajay led to me just like being fucked. Basically, I, I was like, I was like, for, I didn't even think about it. I took off my clothes, got in my fucking boxers, got on the edge of that cliff, looked down and stepped off. I was oh in the air God. for at least four seconds and that was a long enough time. And like, I couldn't really perceive the water because I was thinking it was going to be 40. It was more like 70. That's and wild. I was trying to pencil dive, but my arms were like a little bit out. Yeah. And I was like, I had enough time to make eye contact with everybody. And I was like, I made eye contact with everyone. I was like, where the fuck is Tajay? And out of the peripheral of my vision, this fool's like a hundred yards up a hill in a tree taking photos of him. Oh, so no. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm for sure fucking dying <laughs> if I don't make it back. I like looked at, like slightly looked down, fucking hit the water. I was like immediately bruised on all my arms for not being immediate pencil dive. Yeah. And the slight of me tilted forward, I bruised all like my whole both cheekbones and like Whoa. the thing under your tongue completely ripped it off. It oh, was so gnarly. Oh. And like I hit the water, went under. I like moved my body and I was like, okay, 
I didn't break anything. I'm That's here. cool. And then the shrinkage happened. And my <laughs> shit shriveled to a fucking what? crazy <laughs> in that fucking like 40 degree water, dude. I didn't think about that. I was like, oh, okay, I got to swim. <laughs> Maybe like halfway through the thing, I am dead frozen, like doggy paddling, trying to fucking keep my shit alive. Oh like, my god! Literally just like frozen, just like, uh, like, <laughs> like yeah, you're just in your boxers. Just, oh my god! My boxers in the middle of Dude. November at Lake oh. Mariesa. I'm like Dude. 15 feet away from the shore, dead frozen, like can't even keep my head above the water. And I'm yelling to this bitch who I was seeing at the time, and I'm like. Get a fucking stick, get a snake <laughs> like Indiana Jones, get fucking anything. And this, because like, it was like four feet from the shore was like a 20 foot drop off. So you couldn't touch down where I oh. was at all or like the next 20 feet. And I'm like, I'm going to drown. Like, get something, please. She's like, no, you got it. And at what? that moment, I was ready because I hated this bitch already. I was like... I got to fucking get to shore so I could choke this fucking bitch out. I was like, there's no way I'm dying oh, because no. she let me. So uh, I like limp my shit to shore. That was actually the motivation you needed. Yeah, that was everything I needed. <laughs> intense anger can help you dude, overcome certain obstacles in life. Just like intense adrenaline. I was irate, dude. I got on the <laughs> fucking shore and I was spitting out blood because I ripped that shit off. Uh, my cheekbones. My arms were like blood red for a week. It was Jesus. insane. And I was like spitting out blood and this bitch tried to like give me a blanket and i was like get the fuck away from me if you're ever drowning i'm letting you like it was some fuck shit i can feel it but i lived i lived like 30 tonight. minutes after that when i was warm and still spitting out blood from that thing being gone i was like yeah that was sick, that was sick. but Dude, in the moment true. of me swimming 200 feet to shore not fun not sick at all i hate that feeling of like because you're probably gassed from swimming too like, i was, was no i thought i was gonna you're drown. just like i don't know if i can keep going <sighs> I I need like, a break, and I know. if I stop, I'm dead. But that's kind of fun, dude. I pissed off at myself. <laughs> I, you know, yeah. How is it fun? Uh, dude, I went to the middle of the fucking the danger. thinking, yeah, I don't want to hit the bottom. Oh, yeah, the bridge is like 300 feet across. Obviously, it's at least 200 feet deep in there. I could have jumped off, you know, 50 feet away from shore. Nah, I jumped off from the middle of the bridge. So, like, halfway of me swimming, I was like, you idiot. You could have fucking been <laughs> Yeah, you actually could have been really close. I could have been fine, but no. Oh, and dude, I haven't swam before that in probably two years, <laughs> oh, bro. True. So it was just like, at least you knew, dude. Fuck, I, I don't want to jump off that bridge again. Dude. I, I wouldn't. Maybe if it was high tide, I would. In the summer, uh, yeah, with someone when it's not on a cold. boat below, or not my dumbass friends at the time letting me drown. Yeah, but it was sick. I was supposed to do. I was supposed to jump off the Alameda Bridge, the Park Street Bridge, or Did the Fruitvale Bridge. No, nah, it must have been Wait, Park Street. Who, who was going to do that? And me um, and my friends, RJ and Mingus. Oh, God. Because RJ had dude, a that, boat right that's there. disgusting, dude. Oh, it would be gross, of course. I don't know why we were like, we got to do this. We talked about it for like years. Never did it, obviously. No, that's disgusting. Well, I'll take you yeah. to a better bridge. No, yeah, we can, if we're going to have to do it, yeah. I feel like it, it, it made sense at the time, though. It was like... There was uh, a reason. There was some reason. It was Alameda local. It was like, like, to do. Yeah. It was like an end part ground. of a plan. I think we were supposed to do something we weren't supposed to do, and then to run away, we were just going to jump off the bridge. Something like that. But I don't think we actually were going to do shit. You escape shit. They could... No, they'd just find us. Yeah, 100%. They'd be like, oh, there they yeah, are. They went there. Into that water. <laughs> hey, uh. hey, look, they're in the shit water. Yeah. Do you think that's punishment enough <laughs> that they're swimming now through shit Dude, water? we would get so we drowned. many diseases, bro. Dude, this is just Oh, my God. Yeah, like waterborne illness is nuts. It's like the lagoon, dude. It's like when we were on that fucking little paddle boat, dude. You ever gotten the lagoon rash? No, luckily. No, yeah, I've gotten it. That's disgusting. I've been bro. in the, the lagoon. I was in the lagoon a couple times. It's so gross. Dude, it's the only time foul. I was ever in there was because of Taylor, and I yeah, never same. would have gotten back in there, dude. That's the thing. Nah, There's a lot gross. of like rich Alamedans that I see on those. Uh, the pedal boats. Y- yeah, the pedal oh, boats. Have you seen those? those? But not, yeah, but not, dude. but not the pet. But they're an advanced pedal boat. Oh, it's like, like the uh, little one. No, so they stand. It looks like a scooter. Oh, it's and a it looks bike. Like an it's elli- a bike. It looks like an elliptical machine. Yeah, it's just like sending you oh, through we the fucking. Got that one, I've dude. actually yeah. ridden one of those. Are they fun? 
Uh, it it's looked kind of fun. fun. It's like riding a bike, but you're just in the water. Yeah, it's it pretty looks, sick. It looks yeah. pretty fun. Dude, me and Matt got caught in a fucking windstorm. Oh, yeah, on the paddle boat. Pedal boats, dude. You probably couldn't get back. That was fucking miserable. Yeah, we had the dude, that happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're pedaling so hard. An hour, like, bro. Uh, you were uh, ripping sweat. I was so pissed off because it was my idea, too. And there's like a swan head next to you. You're just like, fuck this shit, dude. I just want to. You look so stupid. You're just pedaling so hard. It's like a grip. Like, fuck it. Everyone's going going by you you're just like fuck and everyone on the shore is like man that looks like it sucks it sucks dude. yeah that happened People to me at the, Pinecrest the, too it oh did God. yeah it was, it's you, just you, you pedal boated out there yeah you don't go that far but I went too far uh. one time though we got to the other side and we ran out of gas and me and my dad swam back the entire lake with the boat oh. we just like we with tied a rope boat? to each of us we put my dog in the boat and we swam like straight across the whole thing. What? It was insane. How did you guys not drown? I don't. I was very young did you too. Get tired? How did they not let me? Dude, JP was like, Alex, this is to prove the ground. <laughs> it this was. It felt like one of those passage. movies. Oh, this is oh, oh, and Alex. we just were like, we just went. I think I was in. I must have been in high school. I yeah. think, but like maybe like 14, 15. and we just yeah. went. And my my brother, and my mom walked around. Like they just got out and like walked around. But we were like, we had to get the fucking boat back. It took so long, and we almost got hit by so many boats. <laughs> But it's just kind of fun. Yeah, you just get That's tired and you just float for a little bit, and we take turns or whatever. Almost got. It hit took a couple by hours. So many boats. That's rough. Dude. But at the same time, I was like, it's kind of fun. I would love to do like the swim to Alcatraz or something. Oh hell, that man. seems crazy. Hell he's a good swimmer, man. He's You're like, he, dude, he's he can just float bad. out there for days. I'm very comfortable, I think. Okay, that's very good. comfortable. That's really I'm not necessarily good. super fast or anything, but no, strong. Yeah. I'm as strong as in the fact I don't think you die out there. Unless you got it depends where a hundred percent yeah but the Alcatraz yeah. run I think you could I, easily do I think oh, I, I could survive try. like tw twenty four hours plus in the water what I think I could I could just float the whole time oh fuck I That's think crazy. I don't think I could float for that long. I'd get it. Yeah, I, I don't think I, I don't know. If you, got, if you were like Ilya, let's go to fucking Alcatraz. I'm like, all right, dude, let me go call the fucking coffin store. Let me go. Some <laughs> this is it. You're gonna have to fucking find me. <laughs> I wonder how long. I feel the doggy, same way. I'm gonna get one of those doggy chips so you can find my corpse somewhere laying around. I would there. only do it if let's I had see. like the uh, the inflatable arms, you know, <laughs> the, the the floaties. Yeah, I know what you mean. I, I mean, could do it with floaties. It's safe. There's boats and people there. I'm trying I to would, see how long it takes. It's in the bay too, right? The bay is not super. Dude, you get some yeah, pretty gnarly swells in the bay, though. Yeah, man. yeah, that's true. I fuck that. Uh, it's two miles. Oh, that's not that bad. From where? I think where you were assuming from Alameda. That's really far. That's far. oh yeah, that's oh. A, the I, regular the, swim. The like race that they do is two miles and can take anywhere between twenty minutes to an hour based on your experience. There's no way I could swim two miles, Alex. I think you. I think if we trained for like a month, we could do it. You guys could do it. I think I could do it I, now. You would never catch me out there. I'm just gonna declare that now, Alex. I will. All right, never we skydive do. into the water. Dude, then okay. we swim. Dude, we set up Alcatraz. a whole point break thing or whatever. What, no, what's the movie? No, we make our own movie Swayze? Tom Cruise movie. Secretly, you guys are just like we're gonna swim to Alcatraz, but we can't get Illy in the water. Let's just go skydiving. Let's just go skydiving. He's asking the. He's ocean. like, hey, are we landing like, in the water? That's kind of weird, huh? Yeah, like, like, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. This part. Does that island look familiar, dude? Cocksucker. Be like years later, you're like, God damn it. <laughs> I knew it. I would be so That'd heated. be so I'd be funny. Like, I'd be so bummed. <laughs> That's the thing. It's like the bridge jump. At that point, you'd have no choice other than to accept the I'm cards saying. you're dealt and just do it. That's what I'm saying. Like, I would absolutely hate having to stay in the water for 24 hours, but if I had to, Dude, I think I could. I, yeah, I, See, that's the thing. I think you I think, guys could too. I, I, don't, I don't know. Sometimes I think my survival instinct isn't fully developed. I, I, I really don't. I think there are times where I would just like, either the adrenaline would guide me straight into the wrong decision and I would cap myself, or it would be like, I just give up. Like, I'd be like swimming, swimming, swimming. I'd be like, my body's given, bruh. Oh no! I, I don't know. I've never been in that close of a death situation, uh -huh. but I just I just feel my brain. I don't know. There's Dude, something in that know, in that survival man. instinct that I feel like would just lead me the wrong way to make the wrong decision at the wrong time. Part of me is like, yeah, you're right. I think we all wouldn't do as well as we think. Maybe <laughs> at least at least <laughs> at least for us. Let me just tell you something. When I jumped off that bridge and I looked to the shore, I was like, oh, that's chump change. <laughs> I could swim that in fucking. Yeah, I'm not yeah. that confident in my abilities. Oh, I wasn't confident either. That was the beer and the split you have that to. I ingested literally two yeah. minutes before I jumped off the bridge. I think that's the thing. You just have to be like, I'm a killer. Like, there this is shit. no way if I stood up on that bridge longer than I did, I would have jumped. 
Like there's uh, no way. It was one of those things where I looked down and I was you like, couldn't oh, this think is about fucked. it. Fucked. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna go do it. Just did it. Yeah. And I was like, there's no way if I thought about that that I was like, this is a great idea. Mm. It's like the worst Ooh. way to do it, but the only way as well. Yeah, you got to take that leap sometimes. Yeah, I think you'd kick in a little bit, but. Yeah, like when you know. have to, there's a difference because you're not used to having to. But like your natural fight or flight response is yeah. going to do as much as it can to get you to fucking get to safety. Totally. You know what I'm saying? Whether you die or not, that might happen. But your fight or flight response is going to You're going to go it. up. Yeah. yeah. I Maybe feel like something. if you don't think you've ever had one of those moments, you ever have a moment where you're just like, oh, shit, this could actually died, be really yeah. bad. That's happened to me in the water where like I'll be like. Oh fuck! Like I might get sucked out right now. Like I oh, actually have to bust my ass. Yeah. yeah, that shit's. Where terrible. you feel and you're just like, okay, like I can't dig around anymore. And you hear about that all the time mm-hmm. of people dying, just yeah. like swimming in the ocean. That's why it's fucking. Rip scary. tides are fucking nuts. Nuts. Um, but in the ocean, definitely not. Um, but I, I, I'd say, the closest I came is I. Uh, it's always been like while driving or operating oh, a vehicle. Yeah. But, um, you, but is when it really have you ever is had in. like time to then do an action? Because that's a moment. That's being scared for a moment. Like, oh shit, I almost died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you're oh, like, oh, I guess. But it's a split second reaction. That's I guess what I'm it's saying. My brain just kicking. Okay, so like no, where I'm there's time. More like, of like, yeah. I mean, that can happen in the car, ooh, but I think that's not what you're talking about. Um, no, it's not. Yeah, it's definitely not. A moment I, where you're like, oh, I have to like go right now. I might be fucked, and that might last for like I don't know, at least ten seconds or something. Dude, I. I, I don't actually, think I can I really think, so. think of a I lot. I don't I've had, think like, so. One moment in recent times where I was like definitely like fight or flight, but it was more so because I was with morons on drugs. Mm. So mm. I was about to say the, <laughs> the only other time you get that feeling is like you're just really high. No, 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 no. And no, you're no, just no. like, dude, so this I'm is fucked like, right now. What, what was like, the thing you said one time? Cutting through the uh, the oh, jungle. Oh yeah, you're macheting through the jungle. Like, I just need to get out of here. Uh, I'm too high. The vines are too thick. <laughs> Let me be free With of this. The magic conch from SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. Ah, nothing. It's like, I can't see. That's exactly what it is, though. Yeah. How, how do I stop this? <laughs> nothing. But what were you saying? You had a near. No, so, so was it a near death experience? So it wasn't or? near death. It was just like lightweight, very like, f- was very fatal. Basically, uh, my brother, me, Eden, and Gilbert were all on acid biking around Golden Gate Park, and Paul came up to this point. Dude, he has this, like, 1990s hard body, like, mountain bike. Should not be jumping shit or doing anything of the sort on it. And he's been talking all this shit, like, months prior. He's like, yeah, dude, my roommate and I just fucking drink hella gin and tonics and go bike in the park. So he's, we're all (laughs) fucked up on acid. And he's carrying us through some fucking stupid ass hills, like, (laughs) off road. He called it the Wook. He was like, anywhere where there's God. people, he was like, no, there's people. We're back to the Wook. And then he would take us through the fucking bushes, basically. Up what in some the shit. fuck? And we're on this fucked hill, dude. And Paul goes like, on the Sid, full feeling himself. So he thinks he, he, he thinks it's time to take flight. <laughs> he sees this thing that looks like a ramp at the bottom of this hill. And mind you, it's just looks gravel, like a ramp. dirt, and rocks like to land in. Yeah. This thing was not a jump. It was a fucking wall, dude. It was literally like a piece of wood posted up on the root of a tree. So it was like, there's no riding off it smoothly. You're bouncing off it. Uh, okay, I have to say, me being on acid in the park, watching my brother take flight on <laughs> It was the funniest <laughs> shit I have ever seen in my life. This fool bounced <laughs> off this thing, flew like six oh feet in the air sideways, kicked out the bike, and just fucking slammed on the ground. Dude, like he threw <laughs> out so fucking hard, and it was, I was uh, pissing myself. And then like, cause uh, I was like, ooh. And then he rolled and he got up and he was fine. And I was like dying. And then he did the Rizuka, which is like, if the Rizukas are hurt, they get up fast and limp away. <laughs> and Paco doesn't limp really until he's like broken. This motherfucker was limping like on his knee damn near. Oh and my I was God. Like, and we're all peeking. We're with two other morons. I love Gilbert, but Eden is a fucking creed and he's a dumbass. <laughs> and they're like... We get to down to him. This fool pulls open his leg, and this fool has a golf ball, like a, <gasps> like a tangerine-sized hole right here on his knee. Uh, Dude, I have one. I have one right here. Yeah, I had the like same kind of thing. I had, I had a rock that like went in. open. That's crazy. And we're all on acid, and Paul and they're like, "Yeah, dude, do you think you you want to just try walking on it and biking home and?" And doing that, we're uh-huh. two miles from their house. And it, it, I was the one on them. I took more acid than everybody. They took like a half a tab. I was like either one or one and a half or some shit. Mm. And me, I was the sole voice of reason. I was like, listen, man, I don't mean to tell you this, 
but we're going to the hospital because everyone was freaking out and frantic and in that moment i was just like super composed and i was like yeah yeah man you're not gonna have a fun time they're gonna shoot you up with novocaine you're gonna have to get that thing cleaned and sewed it's up it's gotta be for and real everyone else was like no he didn't walk on it and I, was, I just had to be like voice or reason like my fight or flight was literally just like i had to be a hundred percent sober and serious like this is what's gonna happen yeah and i fucking had to carry his ass out of golden gate park <laughs> into his homie's car so just imagine, just I wish we could have filmed Palka's view. This dude's peeking on acid in the ER, getting his <laughs> legs sewn up. Did they know? I don't know, but he said it was, I don't know. He said it was lit until the, apparently they <laughs> dropped lit. a needle in his leg as they were sewing it up. Oh, like an accident? And then, yeah. And He's he like, oh, like, it fell down there. He was looking at the end as they were like finishing sewing it up. He's like, huh, there was a needle right here. And then I'm using this one, but there were two, and I put this one right here. I don't know if it's in there, but you think I should look? And Paul was like, well, is it bad if you sew it up and it's in there? And he's like, yeah, you'll die or lose the leg. And Paul was like, <laughs> okay, well, open me up. <laughs> Back to opening him up. And he looked around there for like a minute and like was like, no, I think you're fine. And Paul was like peeking on the ass. It must have just been annoyed. And he was like, listen, man, can you go get somebody else to look too? <laughs> Second oh. bro came in, found the needle deep in oh the my God. of his leg. Oh, Good thing he asked. And then, Holy shit. Oh. Dude, they sewed him up. They shipped him off. We went back to his apartment. I found him on the couch smoking a spliff. <laughs> and he was like, dude, it was sick in the hospital, man. He was like, dude, I was peeking the whole time. I was seeing shit on the walls. <laughs> so... It worked out. Yeah, that sounds like but, an amazing. But it was like very. Like, that was like the most fight or flight where it wasn't me yeah. that was in trouble. You had to go I was though. Just like, I need to be real here, man. Yeah. You get in go mode. I've had that happen a couple times, especially when you're now. fucked up. It's wild how like you can almost make yourself sober if you oh, need I've to. Been, I've been there a bunch of times. Yeah. Like, oh, I got to be instantly sober right now. Yeah. And it sucks because then afterwards you're like, oh, that wasn't very fun. But like, it's good yeah, to know to that like it. at a point you can do that. You yeah, definitely that's a have switch to. you need to have. Yeah, I've had to do that a few times. But also probably was high a few times too many oh, as the, well. The stone times is yeah. definitely one of those. <laughs> like it's rough. Because there's no hiding it sometimes. Like the nah. drunk, you're just wasted, so you gotta accept it and do it, but <laughs> that click can be hard to Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't like, know. For me, I, I think situation like you said when I would drive though. stoned in high school. Mm. I try not to be doing that too much now, but like yeah. There was always that thing in high school, like where I got behind the wheel. Like for some reason, I like instant sobered up. But I agree. I don't like when I know I have to do it. I just do it typically. Like your whether it's driving or whatever. Your body reacts like if your mind's like. If you tell yourself, wolf. like yeah. dude, that's what I try to do with yakking. But sometimes I just enjoy the yak. But sometimes mm. where I'm out and I need to do shit, I'm like. Dude, you're not gonna yak. It's like ASMR in my ear. I'm like, you're not. Yeah, gonna someone yak. whispering. Hey, you're not gonna yak. Hey, what's like up? This, dude? You're not gonna. You're you gonna keep to the alcohol over in your there. Stomach. That's all right. Down. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just fucking ripped off their headphones right now. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, why are you whispering in my that's ear? What, that's what. Just for everyone, that is literally what my encouragement voice sounds like in my brain. It's to trip. Yeah, me. we gotta hear that every time, every day on the inside. You oh my good. god. No, the, that's so the funny. voice where I want to die, and it's like I'm about to do something I don't want to do, but I need to do it, and my brain's just like, don't do it, man. Mm -hmm. Don't do it, but then you have to will, will of power it. He's like, fuck it. Mind controls the body. Let's do this. Mind controls the body. Mind over yes. matter. I don't have a mind, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> that's, you know, also also true. Yeah. I, I do think that's a big thing, though. One day I just want to, like, I think we both unlock the brain where we can just make it like do hell. I want to be on like some limitless shit. Yeah, I want to take some yeah. NZT and just be dude. Dialed. Yeah, I heard that like there's damn near kind of a limitless drug. Like what is it? Uh, I think it's that. I'm not sure. It's but probably a mixture of like Adderall, speed, adrenaline, and fucking yeah, whatever makes your mind just crazy on point. They did some studies and like people who took it just were like performed better on tests and like just were more sharp. It's essentially kind of like Adderall, but like. To another level. Mm. Um, I need that, dude. I'm, like, too fried sometimes. Yeah. I would assume doing it a lot would also probably fry you, but I mean, well, I, mean, I, I don't know. Was that dude fucking lost his mind. Yeah. Or that bitch lost her mind. But I don't know. Sometimes that could, like, stuff like that can, like, advance the human race. It's talking mad about that. Caffeine did that. Like, when yeah, caffeine was invented, like, um, 
like in the Middle East, that's when they like invented algebra and shit. Was just because they they found coffee <laughs> first. I'm not even joking. He's not the the Arab like golden empire of um, being induced algebra. Yeah, <laughs> like math and science. They, so like they had a golden era. Never discovered. And like there was no other golden era like in that area, but just like like Muslim culture at the time, just like skyrocketed blew up and they just became geniuses and then everyone else got caffeine and then it ended that's like literally when their golden oh age ended my too god because they were just ahead of the game because they're just cracked out just fucking hey, all the time that's how it has to be sometimes chang's new series actually he uh -huh. described coffee he's like just imagine really really low dosage cocaine yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that's it's a stimulus those well, shots feel like at like 5 a.m so mm -hmm. i told i told a friend of mine that exact thing and the first thing that comes out of this guy's mouth, the very first thing that comes out of his mouth, is like, huh, I wonder what happened when people discovered cocaine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's a true story, dude. I wonder what that was like. They're probably just like, they discovered math and science well, off of caffeine. To be honest, I guess if you go by the stereotype, they made a fuck ton of money. It's all those fucking like finance stock bros just yeah, doing hella coke and just making fucking tons of money. Yeah. Like Fleetwood Mac, they mm -hmm. did fucking millions of dollar coke a month. <laughs> And they made bank. Yeah. And that's so why they were all fucking maybe it works. Terrible though. That's why I think if we had the next level, what's the next level drug? The next, the next level limitless. Dude, then hey. Know. To be honest, I wonder if there are there going to be any new drugs in our lifetime? Are there going to yeah, be I'm any sure. new things? There already there? is. I feel I'm like. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, like synthetic sure weeds stuff and back stuff. In the day that's mm. going to reemerge and mm -hmm. stuff in like new variants. Quaaludes come back. Dude, oh. I like honestly. Would you do the ludes? I would drop. We have to. I don't even. I'm not even like into that necessarily, but you got to. I don't even give a fuck, dude. If I go to my country and I go to some fucking bootleg pharmacy and I'm like, if I can figure out the Tagalog equivalent of ludes and they fucking got them, because I'm pretty sure there's still companies in like Africa that still make. Oh yeah, there's a way. There's a way to get it. Like, Maybe I not exactly. I watched this like Jordan Belfort interview, and there was like he, the guy was like, "So you've been sober for a long time? If there was a box of like he was like, if there was a thing of quaaludes on this table, would you take one?" He's like, "I would have had those things in my throat before you even mentioned them." Oh my god! He's like, god. "I can fucking smell quaaludes." He's like, "Are you kidding me? That's the best thing in the world. I would take them in a heartbeat." It seems no matter where they make I was. it seem like it was the best era. The fact that they had to get rid of them <laughs> as a prescription. Because they were so insane recreationally, that's never happened. Really, uh -huh. that's so nuts. I think we're we're literally letting an opiate epidemic plague America right mm -hmm. now, mostly with pharmaceutical drugs. Yeah, and we haven't stopped selling those. So quaaludes must have been fucking <laughs> potential yeah, to a, wipe it, out the entire nation. It was a different time, but yeah, <laughs> dude. Well, there's a reason that dude was doing like crack and fucking crazy amounts of drugs just to get yeah. through the day. That's the thing. But dude, and that's yeah. a rough lifestyle at oh, the end of the I day. Did. I'm sure his body hated him for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. he made racks. Yeah, he went to jail too. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. He, but he made racks. He had he had quite a a, a life, you know. That's Just, yeah, I'm sure the jail wasn't like that bad. Down, I mean, people can change, but at least the parts of his life that are generally glorified. He was a fucking scumbag. Oh, of course. I mean, <laughs> Probably. Anyone, like anyone that wealthy, like no one is either you're wealthy from past like your past family and they probably took advantage of someone or you're wealthy because you're actively taking advantage of people yeah it's, it's very like, I don't fuck or an, be fucked i don't think there's yeah. an honest wealth ever like in existence i don't know i think there's some exceptions but i think for the most part you're right i think like but it's very rare i think because that's typically how it has to work at least in this country a it's lot of times there's no spread of the wealth super and that slimy. shit sucks yeah. But, I, I mean, there must be people who do, I think, try to at least, like, counteract it in a way. But no matter what, Wasn't you're still it, fucking someone. It was, it was Augustus, I think. The, Ro the Roman Emperor Augustus. He was, like, the only Caesar one. Caesar Augustus? Yeah. I'm pretty sure he was, like, the only one that didn't get, like, murdered. Because he, tri like, he spread his wealth Caesar's Republic. the capital like crazy. But, again... That's actually more people just getting fucked on for wealth because it's the Roman Empire. He also so. murdered like hundreds yeah, of thousands of people know, to get to that point. Yeah, there's, you know, there's that. There's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No big deal. There's no that big part. Deal. You know, it was a different. It was a different time. It was a different Alex. time, different dude. Time. You could say racist shit all the time. It was fine. It was a different time. <laughs> <laughs> just killing thousands of people to get It was there. a different time, dude. Different time, it was the Roman just, Empire. That shit was cool. That's what they did, that dude. Cool. That's what they did. That was Gladiator, bro. That's like, yeah, that, that shit true. was cool. Like, people were down to watch that dude, shit that all day. that so awful thing about it. You're just like a slave, and you're like, yeah, yeah. you look fit. You're going to go kill this guy, maybe some lions and shit, too. 
I, All right, I'll get like, my freedom. Uh, good luck. Fight for your freedom. Even if you win it, you probably will like, kill you. Imagine anyway. being that gladiator. You're looking around. Mm -hmm. There's just everybody's bummed, pissed <laughs> off because the world sucks. So they're giving you gladiator fights and yeah. bread and shit to make you like, happy. Yeah. While the government's just fucking all. Imagine <laughs> Public being that house. gladiator. Like, wow, they get bread in to watch me die. <laughs> what do I get? They're literally getting like served perfectly just to watch this guy just get murdered and like he's like how did i get here how the fuck that'd be like you do have to wonder that right think at about that, that point in modern <laughs> it's unlucky time, dude. like yeah. they, they they thought that was good sport to watch people <laughs> killing each other yeah That's they have so more tame hard. versions of it now yeah but yes. it's not to the same extent like, no, it's, like, no one's dying. Blood's yeah. thrown about. Like, that would be nuts. I don't know if anything on that level that's still, like, a that's thing. That's some dark web type shit that you'll Yeah, find. that's a very good point. That's some definitely dark web type shit that you'll see. Yeah, I'm, it's definitely happening somewhere. I mean, I'm sure they de they have, like, fight clubs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Where exactly. pretty fucking anything goes, but... No, it's definitely still going around, which is fucked. Which is crazy to think about. Crazy yeah. world. It's also, like, I always think about, from that point, how... Like that's let's say 500 years ago. Like let's say 1400s. Um, that was still like fucking forever ago. But I don't think humans have evolved necessarily that much. So like our brains are probably relatively the same as those like essentially quote unquote savages peoples. And that's like nuts to me. Well, I think it's more so just like they adapted to their time, right? Yeah, they like, had to. I mean, I always think it's fucking crazy. Like our grandparents, for example, uh -huh. when they were fucking born, you know, they had like fucking electricity and telephones and shit. Probably like oh. a black and white screen for a TV, maybe. Yeah. And now they have fucking phones where you can do everything like at the yeah. palm of your hand. Take a bunch of fucking pictures. And they had to adapt. Like there's a reason why some of them aren't good at tech. And then there's reason mm -hmm. kids born today are like naturally willing it. to take on technology. I don't think our mentality has changed, but I think our focuses have changed. Yeah, big time. That's big a good time. way to put it. I just, my thought is more like. How quickly would it take us if shit falls apart to get back to that point? Oh, worse. That's why I think it's way easier to re like to go forward than to digress knowing what you had. That's why I was yes, talking about you. Yes. You lost your eyesight. That's what I'm saying. It, it would, would be suck. worse than me and Matt because we already knew how fucked our eyes are. Yours being perfect to being like damn near like half blind maybe. Yeah. That would be like the biggest thing ever. No, it's like people who are born without a limb or lose one. It's like way worse if you lose. That's what I feel like if we have some sort of people are talking about end of the world like we're gonna have some crazy we're gonna go to apocalypse mode it's gonna be the wildest shit show ever oh, I'm more die. so than at any time i, I think die. the people yeah, are gonna be the worst part too die. i think that's honestly the move i don't want to like if the, i've had enough zombie dreams that were very vivid where i know that if Dude. apocalypse happened i'll maybe wade the waters for like a week but yeah. honestly i'm gonna kill myself there's no yeah. way that i want to i would hopefully that. maybe i'll try to like wait where i can sacrifice myself in a cool way for like the no, squad i don't want to be eaten by the zombies that sounds <laughs> miserable dude like you gotta <laughs> true, get you gotta, true. Get, you gotta bleed out essentially they're not going for any particular arteries yo like, they're eating eaten apart yeah i've actually had a lot of zombie dreams too the i don't scary. know why like they're very scary are like super vivid and whenever it like i know my nightmares are always like post-apocalyptic dreams uh, and they're the most anxiety driven thing yeah. in the whole world like survival stuff at least that's what i get i get a lot of like survival yeah. even if it's not zombies it's like someone's coming after you i had one where i was at my cabin and there was a wookie invasion oh and I had, to, I had to kill chewbacca bro that's insane Dude, i would never <laughs> want to go fucking against chewbacca <laughs> but it's always just weird shit like that i wonder what that what that means well, I, or I just a feel dream. like if you, whatever your dreams are, it's kind of just like whatever your subconscious is feeling at that time. Totally. So like nightmares are probably like you're just hella anxious about something. Yeah. Regardless of what it is. People like claim that th certain things mean certain things. In dreams? Yeah. Like yeah. there's a way like, you can read things. Have you ever had a dream where like you were fighting someone and no matter how hard you punched them, you didn't do anything to them? Oh, I don't know. I've had, probably. I've a few of my friends have had that same dream and like yeah. I looked it up and it's like it's a feeling of like helplessness at that uh, time yeah i've had that dream a lot where like dude i'm just wailing on somebody and like throwing the hardest punches and then when i'm actually punching them, it's like just like nothing open fist, nothing Wild. and it's like that's super scary yeah it's crazy how it manifests that way the same way for so many people too yeah i think that's a very interesting like core thing that we all kind of perceive in the yeah. same way it seems almost like theatrical how like it works like it doesn't seem like it'd be a real thing i know one that's like if you have a dream that your teeth fall out it's like you're worried about your self-image. Mm. Like a lot of people have. Oh, those. what? I haven't had that yeah, one. it's like, um, like, yeah, you're just like not confident in yourself, essentially, or like your teeth breaking. Oh. I've had that one time where it's like someone hits your teeth with a hammer, and all your teeth like shatter. Oh. Actually, you want to know? It's funny. crazy. I just had a fucking 
tooth dream recently like two days ago and that's really yeah. funny because i woke up and i was like i looked at my teeth and i was like damn i was like my shit's not fucked and broken yeah and i was like oh I they feel really dreamed. real yeah. i was like i must have dreamed that so that's very interesting so part of me is like yeah that might mean something but i think there's also a chance where it has like nothing to do with it i think sometimes you just have dreams that are dreams yeah you know what i mean for sure so that's why it's hard to know like when it's like this means something and when it's just like i just fucking killed chewbacca i don't know what that means like i don't think dude, there's that, like a deeper what's story the deeper meaning sick. of that what's the I'm deeper psychological sick, implications shit, to be honest if you conquered chewy dreams i'd wake up i'd be like yeah let's go I yeah <laughs> like, i'm fucking sick that was I'm the, fucking sick. the first time i had a lucid dream i believe was maybe that same one because i remember it so vividly where you can like control what's going on yeah yeah because i remember being like i gotta kill this motherfucker <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't you think that's what I gotta part do was. right now. I gotta cap Chewy. <laughs> I gotta cap I Chewy. <laughs> Get this big ass you see Chewbacca, you're like, it's going down, bro. <laughs> Disneyland, you go fight, like, fight the mascot. Go tackle Chewy, bro. You get loaded, just be like, that's him. It's over for him. <laughs> if I ever see Chewbacca, like, bro, it's hands on sight. Imagine sight. if you had, like, just, like, permanent PTSD from that dream. <laughs> so, like, the next time you saw yeah. someone in a Chewy costume, you just snapped <laughs> you and fucking went fuck for Fuck you. You, you know, killed uh, my family, Chewbacca. <laughs> you know, like, the concept of blind rage? Like, yeah. where, like, people go into such fits of rage, they can't, Dude, they, like, they yeah. actually, like, like black out. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you just, you just black back in that sounds on wild top to of me. Chewbacca. Just, just fucking, yeah. Just, you just <laughs> <bleed> <laughs> out. <laughs> You're still punching down on him. You're Isn't like, that concept wild, the I, blind rage? Have ever, yeah, have you guys ever had it? I've never No, had never no, once no. in my life. But I've heard stories of people who legit get like that. Yeah, I have too. Yeah. I had a good friend, like, and I, I don't think he had any reason to lie about it he, he i one time somebody pissed it, it was a good friend of ours too uh -huh. really pissed him off and i saw a look in his eyes that i've never seen in another <laughs> human being before in my life this bro just went into a different mode and when he came back to like he literally stopped mid-action he knew what was going like, on like he was like oh like i hope that wasn't too bad right there sorry i blacked out for like 15 seconds wow like it's I've crazy i've actually known people who've kind of been in the same situations and they're they're like terrified of, of themselves yes yeah. i think they, that's like, really they're scary like honestly it's like he's like most of the time when it happens things just happen so quickly that it, you're just in that phase you don't even know yeah, yeah. that's so wild that's yeah like, you, you like you, i've heard of people like getting into full-fledged fights and then there it's like they'll like come to and they're like the dude's fucked up oh it's my like, god fucked up and he doesn't remember it yeah you literally hulk out like actually so i was thinking i was like i wonder if the guy who invented the character the hulk maybe struggle with that you know sometimes artists well, put themselves well, it's, into, a, it's, it's yeah. regardless it's a relatable thing for the concept of it like it makes sense you know what i mean yeah like he doesn't just become a tank for no reason like yeah. it does add up I think everyone can relate to that a little bit. Some people probably more than others. But yeah, dude, that is terrifying. I know our brain's crazy. That's what I'm saying, man. It's a powerful thing. That is pretty fucking crazy. Yeah. Just be cool to unlock one day. Past. Just fucking Hulk out. Yeah. Be sick. We just gotta go no, Hulk out. Go Hulk off. mode. Yeah. I can literally just like... Test the limits. I'm just gonna like grow a third limb. Just like make it fucking happen. Oh, damn near. Dude, that'd be... Kind of weird. Be I don't fucking know if insane. I want to grow a limb if that, no. that was my choice. I mean, if I had that, I guess I'd just like make my dick twice as long or something. Dude, I don't even know what I'd want to do with that power. <laughs> I think maybe I'd give myself another brain. That'd be sick. Two you brains. Know? That might be the move. That's kind of like, yeah. Th th at least that's Then you could do it more. Bro. Yeah. Or like I could give myself disposable set of lungs so I didn't have to worry about my smoking habit. Just That'd smoke be super out of the good. Lungs. Well, you would be able to physically just like <laughs> you would just be able to like clean them out. I feel like with your brain, dude. Push a button and it just like switches the lungs. Bro. Like one of those fucking bags like that uh, you need when you go through certain medical procedures or have certain things. Well, I forget what they're called, but the like poop it's a bag. Shit bag. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about yeah. this yesterday. You're literally, yeah. yeah. Talking yeah. About literally, it. like one of those for your lungs, just like fucking gets all the gunk and yeah. dirty bong residue and shit out. Well, ideally, you you would be able to control. Oh your God. brain to like push that shit out anyway you be able to like expel it from your own body. i'm not gonna get into it but there are people in the world that say you can unlock your body like that's what I, that's what i'm talking yeah, about yeah, yeah it's yeah. crazy but it's like I, holistic health and things like yeah. that like Wim Hof i'm shit. in this class where yeah, they man. like it's you heal common ailments basically just from like intrinsic intrinsic techniques and um one of the ones we did that like it's actually funny it's this dude who was born with um what is it I forget, it's some fucking disease where he was literally blind, like 90% impaired vision, and 
through certain techniques that he used to increase blood flow to the eyes and relaxation and various techniques to improve eyesight, he was able to gain like 70% of his vision back and he can Whoa. actually drive a car now, like legally be able to drive a car. And he went from, he still has the disease in there. I forget what it was, uh -huh. um, but he can like basically see now. And like wow. just from like basic techniques, like in exercises. Yeah. So I think like it's very. I mean, it's like the Ice Man, for example. He can yeah. get swim off. Temperature. Yeah. 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 So I think I think we'll get to that point, or we'll have like ways to help people get to that point more often. I feel I like it's just like insane bodily awareness and upkeep. Like yeah. you're spending a majority of your time staying like in touch and in tune with yourself. Like it's the whole thing about um, yeah. What is that it's called? Somatics. I think it's called mm. where it's like the unity of the mind and body and like it focuses mainly on how, uh, like, like a lot mind like body tai, connection yeah like tai chi yoga uh, those are all like eastern examples of yeah it. Oh. really Dude, interesting shit. i think that'd be the the move that's become like my not, not like religion that's a terrible like comparison but like that's become like the thing that i've become into a lot in like the last year is trying to figure that shit out yeah the mind is that through meditation body. is it through stretching is it through yeah i'm getting a call know, from brian right whatever. now Oh, they oh, hey, Brian, what's hey, up? Brian, what's up? What's up? Yeah, Say hello to the you're people. You're on the podcast. What's up? <laughs> what's up? What's up? Little Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, you bitch. Like hey, 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 you trying to fight somebody tonight? <laughs> I'm fight you. Oh, no, I want to fight somebody else. Let's get you drunk and fight some rich kids. All right, well, that's not that hard. To I got a so. fractured wrist, so I'll, I'll have to beat him up with my left hand. <laughs> All right, bet. All right, look at your little, we'll look at your little pretty ass, Ilya. Oh my God. What up? Hair flowing. Look at your little pretty ass. <laughs> I know, bro. Hey, I'm about to be sexy for Halloween, dog. I wanted to come to San Diego, be walking sex appeal, man. What do you think? You think I'm gonna dude, pull I'm... up looking like a schlub, dude? <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel it, man. I'm Look trying to shit. get you laid tonight and bang, bang, bro. <laughs> what you oh mean? my God. I'm gonna go you get you some crazy sir. circus uh, pitch. Uh, no, I was just gonna ask you—is this a bad time? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Here, let's we'll wrap, we'll wrap, we'll wrap this up. up Let me call, call you in like back. five minutes. <laughs> All right, for sure, for sure. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Peace. All right. All right well, well it was great back. having you on the show, <laughs> Ilya. It was great <laughs> to be back. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, yeah. Was that was this awesome. Was a, this was awesome. This I was think a, this went really long too. This was a good one. Yeah. It did. It went longer than I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. Yeah, I do. But honestly, I wasn't gonna. I was gonna let this go. We could have gone until seven. I was gonna tell them. Yeah. You know. Sorry. Fucking art was happening. You should just, you should just, go, <laughs> you should just go in at seven thirty, anyways. Honestly, yeah, dude, yeah, fuck them. Nah, I can't. With that nah. mentality, you should just do it, anyways. Nah, fuck I mean, like them. there are other things going on in my life. If this was to go I feel over. That. This I feel is that. like a worth it thing. If I'm just gonna, you know, be sitting on the porch smoking a spliff when I need to be at work, I need to be at work. Yeah. But if no, this but is I'm like a, here. this is a more pressing thing for you me. Just, just spend time. You're gonna be here all man. fucking weekend, no, man. Don't get all this on me. So. Check us out on the socials. Um, no. Love you all. Don't touch, don't check us out anywhere. Just don't check us out anywhere. Just go check just out career podcasters, man. <laughs> yeah. They make you feel nice inside. Sometimes if you take things, you can feel nice too. Just check in every week. Yeah. Every week. Every week. Every, every week. week. Ooh, wee, wee. All right. We will see you all next time. Peace.